It's time for tonight's epic Western Spotlight, and we're going to introduce you to the Titans sports performance staff. It used to be known as strength and conditioning, but it goes a little further than that now with how these players get ready with the help of this group, which includes a young lady who joined the staff this summer, as a matter of fact. Enjoy this week's epic Western Spotlight. Frank Perino always has a plan. The Titans' fifth-year director of sports performance isn't the only one. It's the same for Brian Bell, the assistant director of sports performance, who's now in his sixth year, Tyler Rouse, who's in his second season, and Haley Roberts, an intern who was promoted to full-time during this past training camp. Perino, Bell, Rouse, and Roberts, with the help of several other staffers, have an individual plan for every single Titans player. Individual planning really is a waterfall or a trickle-down effect where we start with body types. Linemen are one body type. Mids are one body type. Skills are one body type. And then we can split it up from there. Offensive and defensive linemen, linebackers, tight ends. So then it becomes positional. But some work is team-wide, like pushing the sleds. Everyone on the Titans' 2023 roster, no matter the position, was asked to do sled work this offseason. Perino loved it because he felt there was tremendous carryover to football. Conditioning that's pretty similar to the energy systems used for football. Uh, and there's total body strength involved in it. Uh, there's teamwork involved in it. And so we've, we've put our players onto the sleds by, by position. Uh, we uh, intermingle offensive and defensive guys on the sleds. So it, it just is, you know, it was really Coach Vrabel's idea that it's really you know, evolved into something great. Members of the sports performance staff may have areas of expertise, but none in the group focuses on any one area, and with good reason. Collaborative approach, like there's not just one person doing one thing all the time. Um, like I've helped break down some of the GPS stuff. Whenever we're out of practice, or the team's out of practice, we'll be in here with the injured guys, and we'll rotate who has which injured guy, just so we can all have, that have a relationship with that specific athlete. One Titans athlete does get more attention than the rest when it comes to his training. Derek Henry, he loves training and he does it rigorously. So is it harder or easier to make a personal training plan for number 22? Easier in the sense that he, he, he's a very hard worker. He's obviously, you know, been doing it for a long time. Um, he trusts us when he's in here um, to help him you know, which obviously makes things easier, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he works very hard and, you know, the old saying, hard work pays off, I think, you know, we see it. The players have a respect and a trust for their sports performance staff. Because I know they want the, uh, the best for me and I know they're going to help me, uh, push me to my, to my potential as possible and just go in there and work and get, get work done and, you know, it, it'll pay off for me once it gets to the field. It's a staff with a lot of stability and a lot of know-how. Yeah, I think it's, it's great uh, diversity in there, uh, all different backgrounds and knowledge. And, uh, you know, I love how they, they work and they rotate. Um, you know, Frank coordinates that with, with me and, and Todd. And, you know, it is about the players. It always comes down to, to making sure. And you, we talked about Derek there, and he's got a, his own plan. And Derek doesn't practice every single day. And so, you know, they've got to keep him conditioned, but also um, – you know, try to take care of him for a long season.